The early 1930s witnessed an unprecedented surge in aviation innovation. In this era of skyward dreams, the Boeing XB-15 bomber soared into existence. Conceived by the United States Army Air Corps, this giant became a symbol of possibility in both military and commercial aviation. The XB-15 was Boeing's answer to a challenge, create a long-range bomber like no other. With its breathtaking wingspan, powerful array of engines, and revolutionary focus on crew comfort, this aircraft was sculpted for the heavens. Despite its monumental role in the evolution of super bombers, the XB-15's tail often remains overshadowed, its contributions to aviation history underappreciated. But more than just a feat of engineering, the XB-15 was a harbinger of change. Its influence was profound, echoing through World War II and into the development of commercial aviation. The design principles and innovations introduced by this aircraft laid the groundwork for the iconic B-17 Flying Fortress and reshaped the future of air travel. In the early 1930s, a time marked by the march of aviation progress, the roots of the Boeing XB-15 bomber found fertile ground. At the heart of this aeronautical revolution lay the United States Army Air Corps, or USAAC, driven by a fervent curiosity about the potential of long-range strategic bombing. As the doctrines of air power evolved, foreseeing that the destiny of future conflicts would hinge on aerial supremacy, the USAAC issued a clarion call for a new breed of bombers capable of traversing vast distances with immense payloads. Responding to the USAAC's call, Boeing presented a design proposal that resonated with audacity and foresight. The embryonic form of what would later emerge as the XB-15 was initially designated as the XB-LR-1 for Experimental Bomber Long Range Design 1, hinting at its pioneering role in the evolving landscape of military aviation. This blueprint marked a leap in aeronautical innovation, pushing the boundaries of contemporary aviation technology. The XB-LR-1 design boasted a colossal wingspan, multiple engines for extended range, and a commitment to crew comfort during prolonged missions. This ambitious vision evolved into the XB-15, earning its stripes as an experimental bomber through a military aircraft reclassification. The journey from concept to reality was fraught with technical tribulations, particularly in the domains of engine performance and airframe design. The XB-15, a behemoth among aircraft, stood as a testament to the tenacity of Boeing's engineering prowess. Its colossal frame and groundbreaking design catapulted the aviation world into a new era of strategic bombing capabilities. Boeing's mid-1930s bomber aesthetic manifested in circular fuselage cross-sections, expansive wings, tailwheel stance, and plexiglass glazed blisters housing an arsenal of handheld machine guns. With a majestic wingspan stretching 149 feet, this colossal aircraft claimed its place among the world's largest at the time. Powered by four formidable Pratt & Whitney R1830 twin WASP engines, the XB-15 soared into uncharted territory, achieving a remarkable range exceeding 5,000 miles. However, it was not just its sheer size that set the XB-15 apart. It was a harbinger of innovation. Featuring a fully pressurized and spacious fuselage, this technological marvel facilitated high-altitude flight while ensuring enhanced comfort for its crew. The pioneering pressurization technology of the XB-15 marked a turning point in aviation, paving the way for future advancements in both military and commercial aircraft. Despite its impressive capabilities, the XB-15 carried the weight, quite literally, of its own bulk. With a length of 87 feet 7 inches and an empty weight of 37,709 pounds, the bomber's silhouette bore the burden of its 35-ton gross weight. Yet, it boasted a payload capacity that could deliver a substantial amount of ordnance over vast distances. In addition to its dual-wheeled main landing gear, reminiscent of World War I bombers, the XB-15's interior wing space revealed provisions for additional bomb bays. Equipped with galley and bunk facilities, this behemoth could stay aloft for up to 24 hours, requiring relief crews. Beyond its military role, the XB-15 played a pivotal role in the evolution of commercial aviation. Wellwood Beale, a visionary engineer, drew inspiration from the bomber's massive wing design for a revolutionary airliner seaplane. His innovative adaptation, documented in dated and signed sketches, laid the groundwork for the Pan American Airways Clipper. 
It was penciled in a memo reading, quote, Increase span by adding 36 inches to body width. Beale's ingenious solution resulted in a spacious hull that owed its existence, in part, to the XB-15's wingspan. Preceding the renowned B-17 Flying Fortress in conception, the XB-15 was a behemoth, a four-engine bomber designed to dominate the skies. Its genesis began before the B-17, yet it soared into the heavens more than two years after its heralded counterpart. On October 15, 1937, the XB-15 unfurled its colossal wings and embarked on its inaugural flight. However, despite its groundbreaking design, it faced a turbulent journey marred by engineering challenges and technological lag. The heartbeat of the XB-15 lay in its colossal wingspan, nearly half as large as the storied B-17. Yet fate had its say, and the XB-15, despite its early promise, grappled with an Achilles heel, underpowered engines. Despite the technological prowess of its engines, they faltered in delivering the speed and performance commensurate with the demands of a modern bomber. It found itself relegated to the shadows, eclipsed by the ascent of more advanced aircraft, particularly the mighty B-17 Flying Fortress. The saga of the XB-15 unfolded against the backdrop of a quest for power. It met the Air Corps' stipulation for a bomber with a 5,000-mile range, but it confronted the pervasive challenge of its time, an airframe so massive that even four engines struggled to impart the desired vigor. Originally slated to be powered by Allison V-1710 liquid-cooled engines, the XB-15 pivoted to radial Pratt & Whitney R-1830s before it soared into the heavens. The Army's call for a multi-engine bomber birthed the B-17, and Boeing, in response, sought an airframe of streamlined elegance, reducing the burden on its engines and birthing a combat aircraft fit for the impending tempest. In the turbulent years leading up to World War II, the United States Air Corps found itself at a crossroads, debating the optimal role of aviation in its defense strategy. Bombardment aviation was a key contender, backed by fervent advocates within the Air Corps, while pursuit aviation, represented by nimble fighters, also had its own proponents. Amidst this strategic jockeying, transport and cargo missions languished, relegated to the sidelines due to the financial constraints of the Depression era. In that context, the XB-15 promised to redefine heavy bombardment aviation. However, as flight tests unfolded, it became evident that the XB-15 fell short of the necessary speeds required for an effective bomber. Despite this setback, the pragmatic Air Corps, mindful of budgetary constraints, refrained from consigning the colossal prototype to the scrap heap. Crafted in an era when production lines heavily relied on the hand-fitting of parts, the notion of keeping a single prototype in operational service was not as daunting as it might be in our modern age. In 1938, the XB-15 found itself assigned to the 2nd Bomb Group at Langley Field, Virginia. During exercises with ground army units, this lumbering giant showcased its endurance and impressive load-carrying capabilities. The true test for the XB-15 came in 1939, when a devastating earthquake struck Chile. On February 4th, the XB-15, laden with 3,250 pounds of crucial medical supplies from the Red Cross, took flight from Virginia. This mission demonstrated the aircraft's remarkable range and load capabilities, and earned its crew the prestigious McKay Trophy for executing the most significant flight of the year. Major Caleb V. Haynes, a commanding figure by all accounts, piloted the XB-15 through these headline-grabbing feats. On July 30th, 1939, alongside co-pilot Captain William D. Old, Haynes embarked on a record-setting quest from Patterson Field, Ohio. With a staggering payload of 15.5 tons, the XB-15 soared to an altitude of 2,000 meters, surpassing a previous payload record set by a Soviet pilot three years earlier by more than a ton. Just three days later, Haynes and the XB-15 were once again etching their names into aviation history. This time, they set a new record over a closed course, carrying 4,409 pounds at an average speed exceeding 166 miles per hour over a distance of 5,000 kilometers, or 3,107 miles. In a strategic shift, the United States Army Air Forces recognized the untapped potential of the XB-15 and redefined its purpose to meet the pressing demands of non-combat operations. 
stripping away its militaristic arsenal, the XB-15 underwent a metamorphosis at the San Antonio Air Depot. The bomb bay and associated weaponry were eliminated, making room for a new mission, transport. The interior underwent a radical reconfiguration, emphasizing cargo and troop-carrying capabilities. This transformation marked a shift from a weapon of war to a crucial support asset adapted to serve the logistical needs of a global conflict. As the specter of war loomed large, the XB-15, now rechristened the XC-105, took to the skies in its revised role. Operating out of Albrook Field in Panama, it shuttled freight and passengers across vast distances from Miami to the Galapagos Islands. In the crucible of the Pacific Theater, where the expanses of the ocean demanded unparalleled range, the XC-105 emerged as a stalwart logistical workhorse. While not adorned with the glitz and glamour of frontline combat, the XC-105 played an indispensable role in the Allied triumph. Its long-range capabilities facilitated the ferrying of vital supplies and personnel, contributing significantly to the war effort. Laden with payloads of up to 15 tons, the XC-105 silently etched its mark on the logistical canvas of World War II. Despite its limited role in combat, the Boeing XB-15 stands as a testament to innovation and progress. Though the XB-15 itself never entered mass production or experienced extensive combat, its impact on aviation was profound. It became a testing ground for concepts crucial to the success of subsequent long-range bombers, notably the iconic Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress and the renowned B-29 Super Fortress. Beyond the realm of warfare, the XB-15's innovations extended into the commercial sphere. Its pioneering development of pressurized cabins left an indelible mark on the airline industry, paving the way for more comfortable and higher-flying passenger aircraft. While only a single prototype of the XB-15 was ever constructed, its impact resonated through Boeing's design ethos. The aircraft manufacturer harnessed the lessons learned from the XB-15 to mold the B-17 and the Model 314 Clipper. As the 1940s dawned, the XB-15 found itself eclipsed by more advanced counterparts like the B-17 and the B-29. Its combat role waned, but its influence endured. The legacy of the XB-15 reverberated in the design principles of its successor, the B-29 Superfortress, a key player in World War II. The waning days of the XB-15 saw it transform into the XC-105, affectionately nicknamed Grandpappy. This aging giant found a new role as a cargo plane, tallying impressive numbers in freight, mail, and passengers during its 18 months of service in the Caribbean. Yet, as the winds of progress swept through aviation, Grandpappy succumbed to obsolescence. By December 1944, Grandpappy's military service drew to a close, and in May 1945, the order came to scrap this aging marvel in Panama. The era of purpose-built cargo aircraft had arrived, marking the end of Grandpappy's journey.